good afternoon. Today our lecture would be on qualitative data analysis and interpretation. What is data analysis? It's an attempt by the researcher to summarize collected data. How we interpret data is how we attempt to find meaning in the data that we have collected. And how do this differ by research tradition? It could either be quantitative or qualitative. Data analysis during collection. Analysis is not left until the end. To avoid collecting data that are not important, the researcher must ask, how am I going to make this data of good use? As you collect data, the researcher must ask himself or herself, why do participants act as they do? What does this focus mean? And what else do I want to know? And what new ideas have emerged from the data collected? Is this new information? After data collection, data analysis could also be done in these ways. Become familiar with the data through reading and memoing. Examine the data in depth to provide detailed descriptions of the setting, participants, and activities. And categorizing and coding pieces of data and grouping them into themes. Usually, it's summarizing. It's the first time you sit down with your data. It's the only time you come to that particular set fresh. You read and memo. You describe, you develop comprehensive descriptions of setting, participants, etc. And you classify. You break your data into analytic units, categories, and themes. Strategies would include identifying themes. You begin with the big picture and list themes that emerge. You code qualitative data so that you could reduce data to manageable forms. This would be often done by writing notes, using note cards, and sorting them into themes. Into predetermined categories versus emerging categories. How to make coding manageable? could make photocopies of original data, you read through all the data, cut and paste blocks of text onto index cards, group cards having similar labels, and revisit to see if clusters still hold together. Use of concept map could also be utilized to analyze antecedents and consequences and related themes and concepts throughout your data collected. It would display findings and state what's missing in your data collection. So that you could interpret and answer these four questions. What in your data is important and why? What can we learn from it? And what's its significance? Remember, your interpretation would wholly depend on the perspective of the researcher. So one technique for data interpretation is extending the analysis by raising questions. We connect findings to personal experiences such that we seek the advice of critical friends. We contextualize findings in the research and eventually elevate these things to the we have to ensure credibility. Are the data based on one's own observation or is it hearsay? Is it a corroboration by others of the observation? In what circumstances was an observation made or reported? How reliable would be those providing the data? What motivations do they have and biases that may have influenced how an observation was made or reported. Mixed methods. It's a combination of quantitative and qualitative techniques. So under what circumstances might mixed methods work? And under what circumstances might mixed methods not work? 
So these are the advantages of your qualitative versus quantitative technique for research. You just browse this on your own. Definition of mixed methods, a style of research that uses procedures for conducting research that would be typically applied both quantitative and qualitative studies. Purpose of these designs is to build upon the synergy and strength that exists between quantitative and qualitative methods in order to more fully understand a given phenomenon that is possible using either quantitative or qualitative methods alone. The research problem itself determines the choice of a design. Examples, the use of surveys to identify specific groups of students and conducting focus groups with them to understand their values. Or, a series of interviews are conducted to ascertain the critical issues bothering students and a survey of the student body is conducting using these issues as variables. There are three types of designs. The priority given to either the quantitative or qualitative, the sequence of quantitative and qualitative, and the techniques used to either combine the analysis of data or keep the two types of data separate. Common designs would be predominantly qualitative-quantitative model. Qualitative data is collected first and are more heavily weighted. As to a quantitative qualitative model, the exploratory mixed methods design, quantitative data are collected first and are more heavy weighted. Then you have your quant qual model. This is your triangulation mixed methods design, which would have concurrently and both weight equally quantitative and qualitative data. So not, note that your abbreviations quant and qual are obvious and your order and capitalization matters for which is the dominant perspective and which is weighed more heavily. So these are the 10 characteristics of mixed methods design. The title of the research includes terms that suggest more than one method is being used. So both quantitative and qualitative methods are used in this study. So the researcher describes the kinds of mixed methods being used. The data collection section indicates narrative, numerical, or both types of data are being collected. The purpose statement or the research questions indicate the types of methods being used. Questions are stated and described for both quantitative and qualitative approaches. The researcher indicates the sequencing of collecting qualitative and or qualitative data. The researcher describes both quantitative and qualitative data analysis strategies and writing its balance in terms of quantitative and qualitative approaches. Eight questions in evaluating a mixed methods design. Does the study use at least one quantitative, one qualitative research strategy? Does it include a rationale for using a mixed methods design? Classification of the type of mixed methods design? Does it describe the priority given the quantitative and qualitative data collection and the sequence of their use? Was the study feasible given the amount of data to be collected according to resources? Does the study include both quantitative and qualitative research questions? Does it identify qualitative and quantitative data collection techniques? And does the study use appropriate data analysis techniques for the type of mixed methods design? So this is the conclusion of our lecture for this afternoon. Please do subscribe for more preventive medicine and community health lectures for second year. Thank you.